Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this video I'm going to show you how to search effectively in Outlook for Mac. Now I'm using the Office 365 subscription version of Outlook for Mac as of July 2019 so if you're on another version it may look a little bit different. Now searching um, in Outlook on the Mac is quite different to how it works on Windows. So if you are using Outlook on a Windows device then you might want to head over to our website and our blog and find our article and video on searching effectively in Outlook for Windows. Okay so to get started with a search you can just come up to the top right corner and click in the search box. Now two things happen when you do that. First of all you'll see this drop down list appear of recent searches so that's really good if you quickly want to do a search that you've done before. The second thing that happens is the search toolbar opens. Now that's got a whole lot of different buttons on that we can use to perform an advanced search and to further customize and um, broaden or narrow the scope of our search. So to get started, um, I'm actually just going to do a search for training, seeing I've done one before. So I'm going to click that and you'll see it's gone ahead and done the search instantly. And it's actually highlighted in yellow all the instances of the word training. So it's currently looking for that word in the, uh, the sender, recipients, the body text, um, the subject and also the names of attachments. So it's quite broad. Now, even though it's broad in that sense, it's actually narrow in where it's looking. So this is really important to know that by default, when you do a search, it will only look for emails in the current folder. And you can see that because that's what's actually selected over here on the search toolbar. So in my case, the current folder is the inbox, which means it's only finding emails in my inbox. So most of the time you might want to search broader than that because you might not know where an email is or you might have filed it off into a folder. So you've got these other few options here. If we select subfolders, that's going to search the current folder you're in and all of its subfolders. So in my case, it'll search the inbox and all of the folders under my inbox. So generally, that's probably what you're going to want to use. Um, if you want to go even broader than that, you can go the current mailbox. So that is the current email account that you're in. So as in the one that's the name up the top here. And that includes um, your inbox, all your subfolders, your drafts, your sent, etc. So much broader again. Now, if you even want to go wider than that, you can search all mail and that will actually look in um, all of the email accounts that you've got open in Outlook. So if you do have multiple accounts listed on the side, it will expand the search to all of those. Now all items is sort of similar in that it searches all the Outlook mail accounts but it also includes calendars, contacts and tasks so that's the most broad search that you can do. Now in addition to um, customising where you're searching, um, you can also customise on what field you're searching on and that's what all these buttons do. So things like searching for an email from a particular person or an email with a particular subject. This one here, you can use to search for emails that have attachments, um, whether that just be an attachment of any size or an attachment over a certain size. Sent to, you can use that to send uh, search for emails that, you, that were sent to you or CC to you. You could use it to search for emails that were not sent directly to you, which would mean they were sent to a mailing list, for example. Or you could also use it to find emails that you've sent to another recipient. So kind of like how we'd use from to find emails from a particular person, you'd use this one to find emails to a particular person. Then you've got options like date received and date sent. And in both of those, you can actually choose from one of the three options that are there today, this week or this month, or you can specify a particular date um, that the emails were received or sent after. So this is really good, particularly if you've got many years of mail in Outlook, you might want to use these to quickly filter out anything after a particular um, date so that you can just have the information that's most relevant. And I think this is a really core concept in search. Often when we're searching, we're trying to pinpoint a particular email, which of course is what we want. But when we're using advanced search options, we could also think about doing it in a way that excludes all the stuff we don't want. And that's why using things like from, subject, attachments, dates, etc., that will quickly exclude all the things we know we don't want, which will much increase our chances of quickly finding what we do want. And of course, that's the idea of searching effectively. Um, you don't want to do a search and then have to spend heaps more time looking through all the search results finding the email. You want to do a search and actually get the email you want pretty quickly. 
Now these other three options here are important flagged and categories. Um, what that will do is only return emails in your search results that are marked as important or flagged or categorized in a certain way. And if you were to turn those options on, then you can actually choose which flag you're looking for or which category. Unread will just show all of your unread mail straight away. So that's nice and easy way, particularly if you've been away or something, to come back and quickly see your unread mail and be able to work through it. Okay, so let's actually practice one of these. So I'm going to do a from search. So before I do that, I'm actually going to come up and clear training up the top here. So we've searched for that earlier. So I'm just going to click those little X's and clear that back. You'll notice the search toolbar disappears. Um, but if I click in the box again, it would come back. Now, another way I could have done that is just to click close search. So both of those work the same way. All right, so I'm going to click from and you'll see in doing that, it actually adds this box here under the ribbon um, and it says from, contains and it's got a box I can type in. So I'm going to start typing Mike, who is my boss, and as I do it, you'll see it starts to look for Mike in the from field. Now, if I had several Mikes that got in touch with me, I would probably want to use the full email address. So that way, I'm only looking for emails from a particular Mike. So I'm going to do that. And you can see it changes the results and I've just got three now. So the good thing is if you wanted to combine several advanced search um, options, you can. So I've just searched from um, obviously on from here, but if I was to add subject, it's going to add a second advanced search box. And if I, for example, didn't want one of them now, I could come over to these little pluses and minuses and actually add or remove more. Um, as we go. So if I wanted, for example, something the subject was just SOW, then that's just going to bring that one email up that had SOW. And you can keep clicking these to keep adding options and building up your search as you go. Um, one other thing to know about advanced search options as well is that where you've got the, the name of the advanced search option from or subject, you can click on that and you can also select a different one from here. And you'll notice that there's stuff in this list that's actually not on the toolbar. So that's kind of your full list of advanced search choices there. Okay, so as I said before, if we want to remove something, we can. So I'm going to remove that one there. Now, the other thing we can do is actually save searches. And this is really good because if you frequently find yourself doing the same kind of search, you might as well save it and then you don't have to go and set it up each time. So it's a big time saver. So to save a search, do the, first, the search first, like I have done, and then come up here and click the Save Search button. So what happens is on the left hand side here in the smart folders section, it adds a new smart folder called untitled. Now a smart folder is kind of like a virtual folder that will actually dynamically update with emails based um, that you've set up based on a search when new emails come in. So you've got to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one Mike search and I can just click away. Now, every time I click on Mike search, it'll just run that search with all the emails from Mike and show the results. So I don't have to come up to the search box. I don't have to type in Mike's email address. It's just ready to go. So I think these are really, really good, those saved searches. If you ever want to edit the search or get rid of it, you can just right click and you've got the edit and the delete options there. Okay, so there's some tips on using the search feature effectively in Outlook for Mac. I hope that helps you search more effectively, be more efficient in finding emails, and there's been some really useful tips and tricks there that you can implement right away. So thanks for watching.